G'day guys, welcome to a KD Gentleman video. This one, we're going to teach you the best layout for your farm using your sprinklers, water tanks, and scarecrows. And if you hang around to the end, we'll even have a bonus tip for you. So, let's get into it. To unlock the water tanks, you need to have Irrigation License Level 1. This is from Flitch for 1000 Permit Points. To get the level 1 irrigation license, you need to get level 3 farming license and you get this unlocking a level 20 and your farming skills. Now we've got a whole video on unlocking your farming skills and how to speed boost it as quickly as possible, so check it out in the top right corner if you're having struggle in getting your skills up. This video we're going to only be using advanced sprinklers as they cover more area than the basic sprinklers and we're going to go through as much ground to cover as possible with the farm. To unlock your advanced sprinklers, you need irrigation level 2 for 4000 permit points. When choosing an area to put your farm in, you want to find a nice flat area to work with, and if not, somewhere where you can make it flat without having too much effort. The water tank will cover 10 tiles from where you put it down. That's 10 tiles vertically, horizontally, and diagonally out. It is worth noting that if you wish to expand your farm and make it bigger with the methods we're going to show you, you're going to need to have a long area rather than bunching it all up in a small area. This is so when using the tractor you can do nice long sweeps because the turning circle on the tractor is left to be desired. Each advanced sprinkler will cover two tiles out from where you put it down. Again that's horizontally, vertically and diagonally out. This is what it looks like out of the edge of 10 tiles from a water tank when only using one water tank. This following information I got from the Dinkum Wiki where a user has added this useful tables and suggestions on how to lay it out. I'll put a link in the description if you want to visit the wiki page. We're going to be showing this off from the smallest to the largest farm use area. The first one has a total of 384 plantable farm tiles, and that's the best for aesthetics rather than a practical use. The second one also has 384 plantable farm tiles, and again, it's for looks. The third one has 480 plantable farm tiles, and is a nice hybrid between looks and practical use. The fourth one has 576 plantable farm tiles and is for a bulk use and not so much the looks. There is a bit of room around the water tank where you can have a storage box to keep tools and seeds if you like. The fifth one has 592 plantable farm tiles and has two water tanks rather than one. The sixth and last one has 636 plantable farm tiles and uses one water tank, but 36 advanced sprinklers. This one does look good and covers as many tiles as possible, but comes at a heavy cost of resources to make it. Now, this isn't your bonus tip that I promised at the start, but it is free information anyway. You can bury your water tank five tiles deep, so you can have your tractor drive right over it and not have to drive around it when harvesting. You can also put water in the hole to make it more aesthetically pleasing if you wish. But remember, you need to have the tank in the hole before you flood it with water, otherwise you can't place the tank down while there's water in the hole. But there is a way around it. To place your tank in the hole while there's water there, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. And you can ask the Dinkum Dev next time we have a Q&A of him, like many of our other subscribers did in the last one we did with James the Dinkum Dev. With Scarecrows, you can either use Pumpkin or Watermelon Scarecrows. They do work both the same, but they only have different looks. The scarecrow will cover five tiles out from where it's placed. Again, that's horizontally, vertically, and also diagonally out. If you've ever been harvesting your crop and notice that there's random holes somewhere, but you swear to God that you have filled it, then this is why. If you haven't got any scarecrows down, you'll have kangaroos and bird eat your freshly planted seeds. You can either use one of the earlier mentioned layouts to have the scarecrows in and around your crops, or as soon as you plant your crop, you can sleep the day off as soon as possible so they grow by one, where the roos and the birds won't eat them. So my bonus tip for this, if you're struggling to find land for your farm, you might want to consider using a sandy area. If you till the soil with a hoe or a tractor, it will automatically turn to till red dirt. Well, this is all we have for this video guys. Thanks for hanging around to the end. If you like this video, perhaps you'll like some of the other content we have on this channel. Till then, we'll see you in the next video. Arrivederci. 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 Arrivederci.